Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we are back in our bathroom again. But anyway, today's video is going to be me showing you guys how I detox my underarms. I'm interested in learning about how I detox my armpits, stay tuned. Do you want to not be on my extra So what I wanted to do was first find a new deodorant. <laughs> it's, the deodorant I was using just was not working. It wasn't working anymore. It wasn't holding up. So I went ahead and went to the store, read up on some things. I see Native everywhere. Native is the brand that I tried previously. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and pick up a Native deodorant so I can try it out. Let's talk a little bit about pH in your armpits, right? So your armpits are normally 3.5, I'm sorry, your armpits are normally 5.5 to 6.5 in pH, right? So when it gets above that or under that, that causes your pH in your armpits to be off. Now, what we know about P pH as women is that anything can can throw your pH off, right? That's diet, not drinking enough water, the type of underwear you wear, the type of clothes you wear, anything can throw it off. And I would say the same for your armpits pH. First of all, your armpits are enclosed, so it's easier for bacteria to get caught in there. It's easier for sweat to accumulate uh, just because it's enclosed. Now, one thing with switching over to a more natural deodorant is that you're gonna have less debris. Those debris aren't gonna get caught up in your hairs. They're not gonna get soaked into your pores as much because there's nothing to soak in your pores. So that's another thing with using a deodorant that's not natural, especially when it gets caught in your hair. And that's another thing, shave your armpits. Like if you're a woman, you need to be shaving your armpits because nine times out of 10, that's gonna make you smell funkier. Anytime there's hair involved, like you gotta maintenance that, okay? So I keep my armpits bald as much as possible. Um, I wax them and I also shave in between my waxes when I feel like, okay, this is coming in a little bit thick. So make sure you, also shave your armpits so yeah again make sure you drink your water take your supplements what you put in your body is what's going to come back out so if your diet is not so great and maybe the diet that you have is causing you to sweat more and then guess what that's going to cause you stink more um especially since your armpits are enclosed so yes um, so let's go ahead and get into this demo. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I do. It's really a simple process. Um, I do this once a month. Um, I'll do it again if I feel like I need to, like twice a month, but usually once a month gets the trick done. So yeah, let's go ahead and get it. Okay, so first we're starting out with our detox mixture or detox mask. I'm using this ancient healing clay. This is by the Heritage Shop and also apple cider vinegar. These are the two magic ingredients. I'm going to combine those two to the consistency that I prefer. I do personally like a chunkier consistency because I feel like I can just spread it a little bit easier versus it being watery. So yeah, I just keep playing with the two amounts, um, the amounts of each um, product until I get the consistency I want. And I make sure I try not to pour so much of each product in so I'm not wasting it. I only need so much of this. Let me tell y'all, I was funky, okay? This was in the morning. I had just woken up to start my filming and I was like, ooh, chow, no, I was funky. But just looking at my armpits, there's two things that I definitely wanna work on. Um, I want to work on the hyperpigmentation and I'm gonna be uh, doing that with glycolic acid. So I'll have a follow-up video on that. 
and just trying to figure a better way to maintenance these in between waxes i think i'm actually going to invest with doing waxes at home but to start off this process of cleaning your armpits you're going to take a, just a rag and dial antibacterial soap i have been addicted to this soap in the last three months y'all seriously i've been using it for everything but it's just really the goal okay so give your armpits a good good scrub like i said mine were funky so it definitely needed this good scrub So now it's time to go ahead and apply the mask. As you can see, I apply this all over my armpit. I get above, under, I just really want to get around it everywhere just so those toxins and the funk and everything else can just get detoxed out of my pores. I'm telling you guys, you're going to literally feel this happening like and i don't know if maybe it's because i was just so funky but i literally felt this working in real time all right so now that i have the mask all on my armpits it's obviously time to let this dry so i like to give it at least 10 to 15 minutes to dry uh before i do get in the shower and go ahead and rinse it off as you can see most of this had dried it was some wet spot still but for the most part it was all dry so after um i let it dry i go ahead and go right into the shower and just rub it off um this shouldn't hurt unless you're like really hairy under your armpits which you shouldn't be um make sure you shave if you need to shave before doing this but here are the armpits right out of the shower. Obviously, I took a shower to cleanse my whole body, but I'm telling you, they felt amazing. And then I added this native. This native is, I think it's sea salt and something else. It smells amazing. I've been using it for the last couple of weeks, and I literally have not had any issues, guys. And this is me doing this cold turkey jumping into this natural deodorant so i highly recommend you try this out if you haven't thought about it already i hope you enjoyed today's video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one